Hey guys, Jason here with RWB NetSec. And in this video, we're going to be going over DNS map. So this video is just a continuation of the DNS enumeration series that I'm doing using the tools that are already installed in Kali Linux. And I am using Kali 2.0, so if you haven't already downloaded it, go ahead and get it set up. And I'm also using it inside of VirtualBox. So let's go ahead and jump into this here. Uh, so first off, what is DNS map? Uh, it's basically just a tool that you can use to brute force subdomains against a target host. Uh, the tool was originally written back in 2006 and looking at the page here on Google it looks like there haven't been any updates done to it since 2010. There are two different tools included in the package. Uh, you've got the regular DNS map program which is used to just scan against single domain names. And then you've got a dnsmap-bulk.sh file, which you can use to scan multiple domains using a provided text file. So dnsmap itself is written in C. So if you're curious as to how it works on the back end, you can download the package from Google here and view the source code for the, for the program. So let's go ahead and minimize this here and I will provide all these links in the description below for you guys. So to get to DNS map within Kali, uh, just go to applications, information gathering, uh, DNS analysis, and then DNS map. Let's pull this up here. So you can see that there aren't many options available to use for it. It's a, it's actually a pretty simple program. Um, all it, all it does is brute force subdomains, and that's pretty much it. But it does it pretty well, I guess. So going over the switches that are available, uh, the first one here you've got TACW, and this one allows you to specify your own word list to use while it's running its scan. Uh, by default, if you don't use this switch. DNS map will use its own built-in word list but if you have downloaded others from the internet or created your own then you can use TACW to specify the location of your file. Uh, the TACR will allow you to take the results that you get and write them to a file. So without using this switch all of your results are just going to be displayed to the screen but if you're doing a pen test for somebody, you're going to want to save these results so you can go back to them later. Um, use them in your final report or maybe take the data and import them into a, another program to use. The TAC-C basically does the same thing as TAC-R except it outputs it in CSV format. Uh, the TAC-D and TAC-I, uh, I don't really use those so I'm not going to cover them here, but you can see here in the description what they're used for. And it does show you some examples here of the syntax and, and how to type everything in. So one thing that I did, I've already run a scan with it. Not this one. And the reason that I did this is this part will take a few minutes to run so rather than have you guys just sit and watch it run a scan, I went ahead and did it so you wouldn't be bored with it. Um, this is running DNS map without any switches at all. So I just typed in the name of the program and then the domain that I'm going to scan against. And as you can see, it found uh, a few subdomains available for zonetransfer.me. Uh, you've got email, OWA, staging, VPN, and www. One other thing that you can do, if you go back and say you wanted to save these results to a file, if you add in the tech R switch, and then you can point it to the location of where you want to save the file. Uh, so you can see here, I've already got one created. I'm not sure if that one finished. Let me open this one up. You can see this is what the results file is going to look like. Uh, it basically just takes everything that you would see inside the terminal window and that's what you'll see inside of your text file. The other program, the bulk file, 
Uh, like I said before, this, this program is just used if you want to run a scan against multiple domains at the same time rather than just doing one at a time. Then you use the DNS map bulk.shell script and then point it to the location of the text file that contains your uh, list of domains. And once you run it here, uh, it's going to run through the end. It will call the actual DNS map program itself, and that's what it'll use to run all of its scans. So the results that you get out of this program are going to be exactly the same as if you were just using DNS map against uh, one domain at a time. I'm going to go ahead and stop this one here, not run it through. So going back, looking at the, uh, like I said, by, by default, DNS map does have a built-in word list that it uses. Uh, if you want to go out on the internet and download other word lists, uh, I've got a couple of sites here. One is Got Milk's blog post. Uh, there are several word lists that they've created here. Um, some of them they've taken lists that they've found on the internet and they've made the list more efficient. They've gone through and sorted the list, taken out duplicate entries, um, several other things that they've done and actually made the, the file sizes smaller than what they originally were. So, so they've really done a good job here with these lists. Uh, the other site is md5this.com and as you can see here they've got lists broken down by language types. Uh, they've got it broken down by letters of the alphabet. So check these sites out and I will put the links in the description below so you can get to them. Uh, but that's basically it. This That's basically all that DNS map does is just run brute forcing against um, your target domains. So I hope you found this video to be useful and helpful. Um, if you haven't already, check out the other videos on DNS enumeration. I've, I've just started this series, so I'm working through getting the uh, videos created. And I'm also creating a text version of the videos on my website at rwbnetsec.com. So check that out when you get a chance. I've got screenshots there and, uh, like I said, the text version of the videos. So. Thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, leave comments below. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks again for watching. See ya.